I don't want to be awake and I don't like it. I don't like being awake. Good morning, it's like 6.30 a.m. right now and I'm headed off to a bar class. I pretty much do a workout class every single day that I can, maybe I'll take like a day or two off, but today it is bar. Workout done. So like I was saying this morning, I usually try to do classes. I've just found that this is what will actually help me to wake up and work out because I did not want to wake up today. Like when my alarm goes off, I am probably 0% motivated all of the time. But when you sign up for something, it's like you just lose money if you don't go. So that really helps me. But what's that? But now I'm going to head home and do a devotion, make a breakfast, do all of that stuff. So yeah, workout done and I feel good. Okay, I am back home now and it's like eight o'clock. So my class was really good. Like I said, I have a couple work things to do this morning and then I'm going to the beach with my friend Rain. So I have actually like a brand deal to film while I'm there. So it's really exciting, but I'm going to hop in like a quick body shower and then just continue getting ready for the day. Shower cap. This is my favorite duo ever. I love the Super Goop sunscreen and the DeBronzy together. It just makes me so glowy. And I feel like it's especially perfect for the beach because I don't like to wear makeup, but this kind of gives that like foundation look because this is tinted. This is what I put in my beach bag. I have this Erin Made backpack and the place we're going, we kind of have to hike to. So I love bringing a backpack. Then a book, I just started this one. It's called Untying the Knot and a book is very necessary to the beach. A speaker, I literally always forget a speaker. So I'm excited that I finally remembered today. And I think this one has charge, so we're good to go. A water, I need to fill this up, but this is my favorite cup. It doesn't leak. It is a brewmate and I just love it so much. I throw it in the backpack. A towel, obviously self-explanatory. Then my sunscreen bag and I just have all of my like favorite sunscreens in here. And then the coolest thing is these self-tan stickers. So I got these little sun shapes and I'm gonna put them to like track my tanning progress. And I have these linked in my Amazon, so they'll be in the description. Hi Josh. He has a work day at home, so breakfast at home for him. I know you're jealous. Mm, yeah, I'm actually starving. Bye. See I just got to Rain's house and I'm going to hop in her car. We're gonna go get coffee and breakfast and I am so hungry. I feel like I've been up for a long time, so I'm definitely ready to eat. And I'm so excited for having a beach day. <laughs> it looks like Rain is moving to college. I got in her car and she has stuff she's taking to storage. Storage. Because it's almost baby time. Got 10 weeks. Room. Yeah. We just got to the beach and it looks like such a nice day. 
no clouds in the sky, but it is, what is the weather even? The I think the high was 76 today, so that's happy. That is But happy. 76 in Florida feels like 82, so. Um, it's 71. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> and we have to go through the water to get to our beach spot, so fingers crossed that we don't literally freeze. freeze. But we'll have It'll fun. It'll be worth it. Yeah. Oh, we'll make something to be like. Reading a book on the beach in the sun, and wow, I'm just feeling really content. Growing up, I literally would dream about a life where I got to go to the beach frequently, and I just think that it's really cool that your dreams become a reality, and I don't know, I'm just feeling really grateful today. Rain, how was the seashell hunting? Successful. So cute. We pulled out the snacks. I have this little thing of fruit that I brought. I hope it's still kind of cold. I just put blueberries and raspberries. Ooh, that was a tart one. Back in business. You need some fruit. Yes. This kind of gives me the vibes we're in Hawaii. It does. Fruit, beach day. I haven't sipped one sip of water today, so that needs to happen. And then Rain and I were just talking about how we need a fun little drink. But we're the drive home. Yeah. <laughs> Need a fun little drink, but we've already had coffee, so what are you feeling, matcha or what? We could do matcha. I could honestly get another coffee. We could also do smoothies. That could be good. Could but be. I just ate this blueberry, so it feels like I just had a smoothie. Well, we'll see. A drink is on the way. Treats! Ooh. Okay, I haven't updated in a minute, but basically we finished up at the beach and then came back to Rain's house. I got some fresh kitchen for dinner and then we literally just sat, watched Shark Tank and we're like going through TikToks. And my recent obsession is Cecily, I'm not sure how to say her last name, but she is a pastor's wife and like mom of four kids. And I cannot tell you how entertaining her videos are. Like. I feel like anybody who just unfilter like records their day is so freaking interesting to me. And so, anyway, I'm pretty sure we watched her for like. Hi. I'm going home. I just want to like get all cozy and get in my bed and read. Back home. Everything's a little sandy, so I'm just gonna hang off my swimsuit to dry on these little hooks, and then I need to stick this towel in the wash. Didn't work. Round two. Nice. My closet usually ends up a mess after leaving, so time to do a quick tidy. I'm gonna put on these pajamas. That was literally such a fun day. I feel like it was so needed. I have all my jewelry on still, so I'm taking that off, and then I need to do my skincare. It's about 9.15 right now. I just kind of picked up the house and stuff when I got home, and oh, my hair is a mess. And I want to like look through photos and edit some videos on my phone because I've been gone all day and usually I do that. So I think I'm gonna get in bed, go through the photos on my phone and maybe post something and then read. But Josh isn't home yet. He went to go play pickleball. I can't get this dang necklace off. And I was actually supposed to be playing too, but he didn't bring my stuff, which I had reminded him to get. So. I just had dinner with Rain and everything like that, and it was fine, but I was looking forward to playing pickleball, so maybe we'll try to do that tomorrow, I don't know. The skincare bun. I love this headband. I feel like everybody's using the like little flower-looking puffy ones, which I just haven't tried out, but this has been my ride or die, and I like that it has a towel material, so it's easy to wash, and then just like keeps my face back, so time to wash my face. This moisturizer is the best. It is one of the only ones that I feel like is so hydrating, sinks into your skin, and does not make my skin feel greasy at all. It's like my holy grail moisturizer. It's the first day beauty one. I have it linked in the description. 
then eye cream, and finally, eyelash serum. This is the one from Babe Lash. I swear by it, it works so well. Just a little bit of that. Now I'm all cozy, gonna put a little lip balm on, and I have my Kindle. My nightstand is like my favorite little place. I feel like it has all my favorite things, and I just feel so cozy in bed. So I'm gonna read for a little bit, wait for Josh to get home, and then it's nighttime. I'm so tired. I feel like I went to bed later than I usually do last night and I'm just really freaking tired. I love using an ice roller on my face. It really wakes me up and I feel like, especially when I'm going to a workout, once I do this on my face, I'm like, all right, I'm up. Um, I don't have a workout class this morning because I was supposed to go to one, but it was like full. So I might just go to our apartment gym or maybe I just won't work out today, which is kind of what I'm leaning towards. Okay, now I am dressed for the day and basically just in comfy stuff, but I'm making us a little bit of breakfast. I've been loving doing these egg scrambles where I just do spinach, peppers, onions, chicken sausage, and eggs, obviously. Then I put goat cheese and sriracha on top and it's literally so yummy. So that's what I've been on. I like that I get some veggies and like the eggs and stuff. So doing a little breakfast. That smells really good. I cracked that egg so bad. Ah, I forgot the spinach. Get in there, little spinach. Ugh, I don't think the spinach is gonna wilt. Enough, because I was supposed to put it in before the eggs. Wreck. You messed up. And I didn't salt this either. Wreck. This is where we always eat. We literally never sit at our table. True? <laughs> True. My favorite thing ever is when I have leftovers that I actually want to eat and I don't have to make lunch. So today I have leftover fresh kitchen and I don't think I even have to warm any of it up. It's just good to go. I'll put a little sauce on there and yeah, feels nice. I've really been enjoying eating my lunches out on the balcony with the sun on me, but it's so cold and windy today, so that won't be me today. Yum. So I forgot that I haven't gotten my toes done since like August and they are literally so bad and I need a pedicure. So I'm not too sad that that is what I have to go do, but I do need to go do that now, so. This is the fit. I have on my Free People shirt that I wear all the time, this Skims top, these gray bandit pants, and then I did my Burks because I don't wanna like have my toes closed. Got my water and time to go. Okay, I just pulled up to the nail salon to get my toes done. I had to stop at Target because I needed to get a baby shower card for Rain's baby shower tomorrow, so I did that. Now I'm gonna get my toes done and then I did that like robe giveaway on my Instagram if you follow me on there and I am picking the winner and sending that out I need to today so hopefully this won't take too long and I can get that all done. Toes done and unfortunately I won't be showing the feet for free but they're like this cute bubblegum pink color and now I'm over at the mall because I have a collab with PacSun and I need to go pick out a shirt from in here so that's kind of fun but it's Friday afternoon it's like five o'clock traffic so it took me so long to get here but yeah let's go in pick out a little shirt and this is exciting all right I am done with the mall and I don't know I don't think I love going to the mall but I picked up two shirts I did one I'll just show them to you 
One is like just a really simple little white tank. I love these. Like I feel so cute when I wear a cute little white tank. Oh, they got tangled. And then I don't have any top that's like this. It is a really dainty blue. Like it almost looks like a sleep shirt and then it has this rose in the middle. So I thought, you know, I don't know if I would necessarily wear that, but either way, I think it's really cute. So we'll see. I kept the receipt though. I just mapped going home and it's all red, just like completely dark red and it's gonna take me so long. So love that. I finished up with dinner and now it's time for the worst part of all and that is cleaning the kitchen. So going to wrap that up and it's literally seven o'clock but I'm so tired. So I think nothing sounds better than getting in my cozy PJs, doing my skincare and then just laying on the couch for the night. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, skincare time. Like always, the pink headband and throwing my hair up. Wow, that's quite fun. At night, we double cleanse. I've been trying out the Paula's Choice Serum or like exfoliating thing because everybody talks about it, but I also am breaking out and so I don't know if that is why and I should stop using it. I have really sensitive skin so I feel like it's hard for me to try new products. Today it actually started out warmer than it's going to be. Like it got colder as the day went on and tomorrow I'm pretty sure the high is supposed to be like 50 five or something. So we have Rain's baby shower tomorrow and I just hope that I don't freeze. I'm like, what am I gonna wear? A cute little sweater maybe or something. But we got them, oh my gosh, I put on so much of that. We got them a car seat and I did not realize how expensive baby stuff is and how much you need, which it's crazy because she only has 10 weeks left and then I'm gonna be an aunt. So I'm so excited to celebrate with them tomorrow. And Greta's coming down and my brother and his wife are actually going to be in town. So it's just gonna be like a fun day with family and friends and all of that, I just love it. Back at it again with the eyelash serum. If you have not tried an eyelash serum and you want longer lashes, which I mean, let's be real, who doesn't? then you should check out the eyelash serum that I use. I've used it for so long. I probably use it like four times a week and it's great. So this will be linked in the description. And then we never can forget lips. I always just use the Laneige pot. I don't think I'm gonna brush my teeth yet because I want to have tea. I started taking hair vitamins probably like six months ago or maybe four months ago or something. And I really do think it has made a difference in my hair growth. I have also um, done like less heat on my hair and I'm coloring it less. Like I haven't gotten my hair colored in probably six months or something. So all of those things I know play a huge part in your hair health. I can never figure out my freaking hair part. That feels down the middle. That's not down the middle. I'm gonna do a little bit of hair oil on the ends. All right, if I gotta, you know, look like this, then I might as well wear my cute jerk PJs. Okay, I am super comfy now and looking a little crazy, but I think that is where we're gonna end off this vlog. Let me know if you want more just like chill videos of what life is looking like, because I love making these. And stay tuned for next week's video. Love you guys, good night.